Hi, I'm Dr. Chad Pritchard. I'm a geology professor at Eastern Washington University. And I took my kids to the MAC community from the Museum of Arts and Culture in Spokane. They love volcanoes, and we got excited about Mount St. Helens. And so we thought we'd learn a little bit about more what it was before the eruption and then what happened 40 years ago on the 40th anniversary here where they had nine hours of plenty of eruptions, ash shooting out from the volcano. That ash covered most of the Pacific Northwest and went out even farther east in the United States because of the wind direction. And this is what it looked like in Euphrata. All these pictures are from the USGS. So we wanted to model this a little bit. And so we poured liquid nitrogen into a soda pop bottle. And there is Owen kind of holding my funnel right there. The liquid nitrogen is really cold, right? You can see it on the ground there. We capped it in the bottle, and then we drop it inside this trash can filled with water. What happens is it starts to heat up a little bit. It can take a little while. You get a little excited. What? Nothing's happening. But the gas is expanding, and it's being trapped by the bottle, and boom! Boom! There you go. So magma has dissolved gases in it, just like soda pop. And if you excite that, it's going to allow those air bubbles to come together, those different gases to come together. And when you release the pressure, those gas bubbles get really big and shoot out there. I wouldn't let Owen pass it off to his brother. But you can kind of get it pretty excited. And it's really intense when you put liquid nitrogen in there, and you can see the rebound of that eruption after it's shot out as the bottle breaks open and just shoots the water above it out in the, into the, the air, much like a volcano would. There's what happens to the bottle afterwards. You can see it's fragmented. Exactly what happens to ash that cools really quick. The magma cools into a glass, and then it traps the gas in, and it breaks open just like that bottle right there, causing ash and fragmentation. So that's what geologists do, is we study what happens out in nature so people can be safe, and we like to have fun. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoy the 40th anniversary.